You're welcome, Enrique. Hi. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Hi, good morning. My name is Enrique Caballero. I'm the sales director for AWARE, uh, AWARE Inter Incorporation. Uh, I'm located in, the, in Vienna. Uh, and today we're going to talk about uh, how AI and deepfakes is uh, impacting the digital identity and onboarding. So uh, I'm going to present a couple of uh, nice slides. Uh, I hope you're going to like it. Um, so about AWARE, so we are a US-based company, so we have around 30 years in the market. We work uh, largely with banks, uh, government, government organizations. Uh, in Europe, we work, for instance, with the Bundeskriminalamt, which is the equivalent of the FBI. In Germany, we work also with FBI, CIA, Interpol, Europol, NASA, Department of Justice and Administration, etc., etc., etc. But we also work with banks, so basically we are bringing the same technology that we have with the uh, governments, and we are bringing this to the banks. Okay. <laughs> so, let me ask you this. So, do you think this is a real person? No? no? <laughs> Who says yes? Who's... Looks real, yeah? Another chance. You think it's a real person? It's the same person, yeah? Yes? No? No? Okay. Well, the, quest, the answer is no. It's an AI-generated image by a Spanish company called uh, the uh, Clueless AI. And if you have Instagram, I only have to follow uh, couple of people, uh, you can follow her actually. So she's not real and she's generating money. So she's generating around $5,000 uh, per month. And if you, you follow her, so you're going to see that she's doing some kind of fit, uh, fitness uh, and then, well. But the main point is that this is an AI generated image that now is generating money, right? So this is where we are moving now. So all these images that are being generated worldwide, now they are uh, monetizing and this is uh, how it looks like the uh, the AI. Um, the AI recently has been generated around 50 billion of images. AI generated is expected by by 26. Around 90% of all the images online they are going to be AI generated. We were talking before that the. All the logos that you have, one of them they are generated by AI and the others are not generated by AI. And the ones that are generated by AI, they are more impressive, right? What the expert says is according to the, uh, to the experts is that uh, by, uh, by the end of the decade uh, is going to be the next big thing. So you have internet, like the good thing, and now the next big thing is uh, all the different images that are being generated by AI. So this is massive. So, if you have ideas for a startup, I really <laughs> encourage you that you do something with AI uh, uh, generated images because this is the, the next big thing. But now let's talk about deep fakes. Uh, deep fakes. What is a deep fake? So deep fakes is the combination of two words. One is for uh, deep learning AI. This is the first word. And the second one is for fake, right? I'm sure you've seen this image before. It was uh, all over the places that uh, they, they captured this guy, but no, it was a fake, right? So this is a combination of deep fake. But what is a deep fake, right? Uh, deep fake is an artificial intelligence uh, manipulated media that you can use uh, to put either a face or a voice or a gestures in someone else. So you are uh, putting this at the top of the person or at the voice as well. Uh, of course, this is brilliant. It's very productive because you can do a lot of things with this. But also, this is impacting not only the financial uh, institutions, but in general, all the different uh, areas around the world, right? Uh, I'm sure you've seen this as well. Uh, this is uh, Morgan Freeman. So you Google uh, Morgan Freeman deepfakes. You're going to see how relic it looks like. Uh, sorry, it's not running the, uh, the video. But anyway, so this is a deepfake. Uh, this is a Dutch company. Uh, the name of the company is called Rebel AI. 
and then the person who actually make a, a Morgan Freeman uh, is, a, is an actor called Bob the Junk. Uh, and the voice is by, by this uh, other uh, actor as well. So they combine everything. And actually, when Morgan Freeman seen this, he say, OK, this is not me. So he really needs to uh, step up and say, no, this is not me. This is a deep fake I, uh, generated uh, image. And this is also very, uh, uh, very popular. Uh, this is for uh, Tom Cruise. Uh, there is actually a, a TikTok channel for all the different deepfakes that this company create. It's called Metaphysics. They create these uh, deepfakes, very funny. So you Google it, and he's, doing, uh, he's talking about nonsense. Uh, but basically, it's very interesting. So they are also creating this, and they are generating all of this. Uh, but what is the? Uh, what is the reason behind of talking about all of this, right? Because this is impacting uh, nowadays when someone is trying to open a bank account remotely or when you are trying to get access to your account as well. So you are not sure if this is an AI-generated image or a deep fake, right? So it's, this is a, becoming a, a race. And actually, you can create your own deep fakes as well, right? So this is my LinkedIn uh, uh, photograph. And then uh, I, uh, there is a, a, a web page where you can create your own deepfakes. Uh, you need to pay for every second that you are getting, right? But basically, how deepfakes works is that they are taking one image from a person A, and then they are uh, superimposing this into the person B, right? So I just took my, my face, and then it was a video from this gentleman. And then they are creating automatically the deep fake, right? So you can play around. So just go online, and then you can go let move here. But this is not uh, all the threats that we have uh, within the biometrics and the digital identity as well. There are other things as well. It's not only about deep fakes and AI. Deep, uh, deep fakes and AI. So you need to invest. You need to put a lot of money. But there are other kind of um, uh, threats as well within the digital identity. Uh, you can see here, for instance, in the right-hand side, uh, there is a person that is trying to get access to a bank account. This is real, uh, happening in the real world. So using a, a printed image from the person, real size. Then you have also a high-quality video, 4K or 8K. The guy in the middle, this is actually happening in Brazil. Uh, one company, they, one of the largest banks in Brazil, they didn't have any kind of uh, liveness detection. And they were doing a lot of money. They managed to do around 1.8 million of dollars because they were uh, they get access to all the different bank accounts. Well, luckily, they they catch him. And then you can see the mask in the left hand side as well. You can see it here in the stand as well. So they are hyper realistic masks. They are around thousand dollars each. So. People are using this to try to get access to the accounts, right? Trying to get access and to create a digital identity in order to get access. Uh, but this is what we are doing, right? So we are fighting uh, against all of this. Oops, sorry. Next. Yeah. And this is also interesting, right? So um, this is coming not to AI. This is coming to the standard uh, presentations attacks. There is a very popular uh, movie called The Mask Scammer, which is basically uh, a guy called Gilbert uh, Chilik. He's a French-Israeli uh, person that he was impersonating the uh, Minister of Defense in France. And he was uh, talking with several CEOs around France, and he was asking money. But the method that he has to get access to the money, he used a simple mask. And then he ran a video. He also has the voice as well, very similar to this guy. And then he was able to, uh, to do 1.8 million of uh, euros just by doing this. Luckily, they catch him. He explained all the secrets behind. But if you have a chance to watch this movie, it's very interesting because it's something that we are also protecting. This happened back in 2015, 2016 uh, in France, right? So uh, if you have a chance, have a look. But how we are protecting against all these kind of uh, attacks, right? So what is our credentials, what we are doing? 
Well, uh, as I say, so uh, we are working with all these uh, large organizations uh, that I already discussed about. So we have all the experience in the forensic, uh, and we are bringing the same kind of technology to the digital identity and to the financial sector, right? So we are uh, one of the pioneers as well on so standards. So we are working with several organizations around the world. The NIST it stands for National Institute of uh, Standards and Technology in the US. So we are actually uh, the pioneers in this type of technology, right? So we are 30 years in the market. We apply uh, data science, artificial intelligence, and machine learning as well uh, in all our technology. Uh, so basically, we know what the bad guys are doing in terms of AI and machine learning. So we are also uh, protecting against this. And then we have the whole solution, right? So we have um, different uh, modules that you can incorporate within your own uh, processes, right? So this is what we are doing overall. One of the successful story, this is actually happening in Americas, uh, similar as the mask that I described. So they, uh, the bad guys, they were uh, having access to all the different bank accounts because they were impersonating uh, a, a lot of people, right? So the bank uh, give us a ring, they say we need to fight this kind of fraud. So we work together with them, we find a solution. And after they find the solution together, so we see a reduce of the fraud for around 87% in the period of six months. So it was really impressive, right? So basically they just implement the live detection uh, because they didn't have it before. So they implemented that they, they can see clearly how everything is being reduced, right? The fraud is being reduced. So something to highlight here, right? When you are looking for your, uh, for your digital identity and biometric provider, you need to look for a couple of things. So one is that they need to be compliant with the different uh, regulations, so GDPR, with the standardization bodies, NIST, IBETA, et cetera. Uh, there is something real, relatively new in the NIST, so they perform a, a FATE, it's called, face uh, access technology. Uh, so they were doing a lot of tests in terms of uh, digital identity, uh, impersonation attacks, presentations attacks. So we are ranked number one on this one as well. So we are fully protected against this type of attacks. Uh, and also the credentials, right? So what they are doing. So are they providing face, voice? Which are the credentials? Which are the markets that they are working? Where, are, where they are present, right? So you need to look for this as well. And yes, so just to finalize, so we know the race is on, so we are fighting against the, the experts uh, on, the, on the attacks, but the, we are also an experts, so the race is on. We are, um, we are leading the race at the moment, uh, but we are not just waiting uh, for see what is happening. But of course, there is no silver bullet, right? So we need to work, we need to continue enhancing our, our algorithms, uh, our technology, because there is no silver bullet to, to win this, uh, this fight. But at the end, we're going to be successful, right? So uh, we know we have the experience, we have 30 years in the market, and yeah, even if they have good algorithms, even if they are trying to get access to uh, our systems, we're going to be uh, successful. And that's it from me, thank you very much. <laughs>